Good morning and a most blessed Thursday to you from the Gospel of Luke. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Christ is risen. He has risen indeed. Alleluia! What good news those men in dazzling clothes had for the women who expected to find their beloved Savior, their beloved rabbi's body in the tomb. I am here at the tomb, of course, not actually in Israel, but this is the tomb which the kids who were at Wednesday Night Ministries last night, uh, Wednesday Night Alive, they got to peer into the tomb as those women did 2,000 years ago. And the exciting aspect of hearing that Jesus is risen, he is risen indeed, Think about those women when they heard this, when they peered into the tomb and didn't see Jesus, but were told that he is living and not amongst the dead. How exciting that must have been for them. And the beauty and the value and the purpose of God's word is that the news that was so exciting 2,000 years ago is just as exciting today because Jesus still is not in the tomb. Jesus still lives. That, that is the God we worship. We worship the living God, the true God, the saving God, the loving and merciful God. Remember what those men continued to tell those two women. They said, remember how he told you, that was Jesus, how Jesus told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Jesus told them exactly what would happen. He told them he would go to the cross. Jesus Christ went willingly to the cross because going to the cross and dying death under the law, Jesus was dying the death for you and for me and for all the world. But he knew that death would not have the final answer. And that is what we celebrated this past Sunday. And that is what we celebrate every Sunday. And that good news that Christ has risen, that is what we celebrate every day. Because we are an Easter people. We are a people who live day in and day out in the freedom and the love of God's mercy. We live because Christ lives, because he is no longer in the tomb. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. That is good news for us. That is good news for the people of 2,000 years ago. And that is good news for all of us for all time. Share that good news with someone today. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you. We thank you that you are a living God, that you are almighty and sovereign, and that you knew exactly what you were doing when you went to the cross, taking our sin upon you. We knew that you, we thank you that you knew that you had power over death and that you would rise to new life, assuring us 
new life and freedom and in you eternally. Lord, we ask that this good news of your resurrection would be on our lips today and always as we live as an Easter people. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Be with us today and always. In your name, amen. Christ is risen. Go forth, share the good news, and I will look forward to worshiping with you this Sunday. God bless.